I feel like I spent the first three years completely banging my head against the wall and not getting anywhere with the instrument. And then one day I just, it sort of clicked like, oh, wait, this hand just does this thing and then this hand moves the chord. Boom, I got it now. And from there it was like, My first concert was Paul McCartney at RFK Stadium, and they gave me this tour book, right? And it had all the typical stuff like what Paul eats for breakfast. But then it also had a page on each member of his band. Hey, his guitar player also played with all these other bands and did these TV shows and these films. And I realized that's what I could do. Because I didn't want to be Paul McCartney, but I wanted to just, it was more about the music and not so much the showbiz. And I realized, that that's the job for me because it's all about the music. A session musician is a craftsman and it's a service industry. I'm here to cater to the needs of the artist or the producer or the composer that I'm working for. He treats what he does as a recording artist, as a real art form. He's not approaching it as, I'm a musician and I happen to be playing in a studio. He is actively trying to improve his talents as a recording artist. He just started knocking out these incredible guitar parts and was so uh, creative with ideas that we hadn't thought of. Um, and it was just three, I think it was a three hour session and we knocked it all out. Anything I throw at him, he seems to be able to do. And I think that's a really wonderful combination of his uh, abilities from when he was a kid playing in rock bands to his studies as a really consummate jazz musician. I think the, the fact is that he has a great love and respect of all music. I try and stay versatile. I have a lot of, a lot of options. So we can go to whatever country you want to go to. Yeah. I used this on a movie called Die Hard with uh, Bruce Willis, where he goes to Russia to chase some bad guys. And there's all this kind of stuff. Like Spooky. I used this on uh, all the stuff I did with Giorgio Moroder. And the Tom's Diner remake that Britney Spears did, a single that Sia sang on, and also something else that he did with Kylie Minogue. I play this guitar on a movie called Little Fuckers, and Dustin Hoffman's character goes to Spain and learns to flamenco dance. And then from that point on in the movie, every time you see Dustin Hoffman, Having a studio like this was always a dream of mine. It was designed by George Augsburger, who's a world-renowned acoustician, and he's been building studios longer than I've been alive. So it's super quiet. You know, one thing, it, it allows me to just kind of zone out and, and really concentrate when I'm working. My happiest time is, is when my concept of what it should be lines up with the composer's concept or the artist's concept. And we kind of have a meeting of the minds and make something great together. I was a little bit uh, worried about doing remote recording, especially with guitar, because I'd never done it before. And it exceeded my expectations. Um, it was much better than I thought it would be, even if we were using a guitar player who was local to us. There's this kind of chemistry, this, you know, this thing that connects us all that you can kind of share. Again, even if even if we're all all the way around the world, or you know, working side by side, it's through the music that, that makes that happen. What this place offers that you can't find anywhere else is me, because um, at the end of the day, it's great that it's quiet and it sounds good, and I have lots of gear. But your concept is what's most important. He is able to generate wonderful ideas, and it's married to a richly kind and generous personality that makes it fun, and the sessions come out better. We had these ideas in our head for what the tracks were gonna sound like and what we wanted him to do, which, which he followed and he did, and then he added something extra to everything. He's gonna bring a whole different take and years and years uh, of musical experience that's going to uh, not just enhance, but really just exponentially multiply the quality of your music. It's a selfless business. Uh, 
I can be selfish in real life, but when I come here, <laughs> I have to, you know, it, it's all about catering towards the client's needs. That's what I do.